Um, it's a lot. I, I, uh, yeah, I hurt my elbow. Um, I missed the end of the Rutgers game. I missed the last next two games too. Um, and I came back. Uh, I was wearing, wearing a brace on it, um, but it, it's it's all good now. So, yes, yeah, full heel. Yeah, yes, I am. Uh, it's awesome, really. <clears throat> uh, you know, I get to come in here, talk ball with all the guys. Uh, you know, meet meet all the coaches and uh, things like that. So it's I really enjoy it. Uh, Liam, uh, yeah, he told me, you know, uh, just be yourself, really. Uh, like he's like, look, man, like you love football. Um, you know, just be yourself and you'll be all right. Uh, yeah, I would say so. He's a uh, he's a really fun guy. Uh, yeah, it's really good to have you know Steele with me. Uh, he's actually my roommate here too. So you know, even at back at Ohio State, he's my roommate. So it's good to have someone that like you can connect with, talk to, you know, bounce ideas off of. Yeah, I would say, you know. Um, you know, I, I feel like I could name a lot of things, but, um, you know, my, my love for the game is, you know, is unmatched and, uh, you know, I, I feel like that could, you know, help me stick out from a lot of guys. Um, a lot of things really, um, you know, being able to move out in space, um, you know, being able to cover, um, a lot of things that you know, I, I feel like. It'd be good to show teams. He helped me out a lot. Uh, <clears throat> his experience of being in the NFL and um, you know playing for a lot of different coaches and um, you know being in the shoes that I was once in. Um, you know, it was the first time I had a, a coach that played the same position as me, and so that helped me because I knew that if, if I went through something, that he already went through it, and you know he had the answers. So. Yeah, he, uh, I mean, he, he loves playing football. He loves the NFL. Um, and, you know, I don't know if he knows, but, like, you know, I, I'd love to either play with him or play play against him one day. So, uh, you know, I'm still still trying to chase that goal. Did you, you ask if I met with him yet? I have not, no, but uh, I'm looking forward to Uh, yeah, I would, I would say so. Um, you know, if, if they ask me, you know, what, what's your leadership style, or you know, how, how do you lead a, how do you lead certain guys? Uh, you know, I try to answer that as honestly as, as I can, and uh, you know, hope that they like it. Yeah, I'd say Matt Milano is a really, really, really good linebacker. Uh, <clears throat> you know, he knows the play. Before it's coming, and he, he doesn't hesitate when he sees you know what he likes. Yeah. Oh, he's uh, man, he's a great coach. Uh, very very smart. Uh, but obviously, you saw that you know he became a head coach at Boston College, so he's got great le leadership skills, and he showed those uh, skills at Ohio State too. So all around, just a great dude. Right, yeah. Uh, those guys are really, really good football players. And, uh, I mean, they're really good. Uh, and they, they know the defense just as well as me and Steele did or, you know, any any linebacker that's been in that system. They know it just as well as us. And uh, I know that they're going to have great careers. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> You know, like those practice reps are really important. You know, for a while when I was when I was back at Ohio State, all I had was practice reps. I didn't, I didn't have much game reps really. I think CJ probably had more than I did. Um, but like those practice reps are 
and I know how CJ practices and how, Co how Cody Cody's got a lot of reps but CJ like those practice reps he treats them like game reps and I, I know that you know that that'll pay off so to be great in coverage um, I feel like it's important to know where your job is really um, you know what type of coverage you're playing you know who, who your who your eyes like who your eyes on um, and I think you know that's that's where it really starts in coverage is you know you got to know your job first and then executing your job as well uh, the linebacker position um, I mean I started playing it a long long time ago but even I mean many years ago it's definitely changed a lot um, you know, guys are, are asked to do a lot more coverage, you know, responsibilities. Um, and I, I think that's something that's that's definitely changed. Yes. Uh, he's, uh, <clears throat> you know, I played a, a, in front of, you know, behind a, a lot of defense tackles, but he's definitely one of the best I've ever played behind. Uh, and he, you know, he's the guy that, like once the ball snapped, and even even before the play, like he's got your back, like no matter what. And it, that's on the field and that's off the field, really too. Um, like he's loyal and like he he comes to work, and he, he he works his ass off really. I don't I don't know if I'm allowed to swear, but like he he works really really hard. So no, not at all. I mean he does that at practice every single day. For what the past three years he was there, like he did that at practice every single day. So I, I was not surprised at all. I was, yes, yes. I have, yes, yeah, so. I would like to play for anyone, really, so, yeah. I have, yes. Uh, I think it's cool. I think a lot of linebackers are, uh, you know, becoming head coaches, and I think that comes with, you know, like the leadership that the, the position comes with, so. Um, you know, I'm not surprised when I see a guy like that being a, a great head coach too. So, mm -hmm. it was a lot. It was, um, <clears throat> and I think it was more that that you know showed up on tape, but it was his experiences that the plays that he's gone through, you know, how he's dealt with certain. Certain plays, certain um, you know routes, certain coverages, and uh, and that was something that, like before before him, I, I couldn't really get it from anyone else. Really, I mean, Coach Knowles was great. Like I loved Coach Knowles, but I think that first year was more like installing the defense, and then James came in and he ex he, you know, gave me that experience that he had. Yeah, it was good. Um, you know. I, I was, uh, you know, lucky to, you know, be from Ohio and go to Ohio State. Um, you know, I just want to make the people of Ohio proud, really. Um, so, yeah. The, I mean, everything really. Coach Mick, CJ, Coach Day, like those guys were always in my corner no matter what. Um, and I, I'm lucky to have those guys. You know, I, I wouldn't be up here if it weren't, if it weren't for them. I, I've informally met with them, yes. Um, and my leadership style is, you know, I try to get to know people before I, I lead them and uh, create those relationships. Yeah. Yeah, he's... Uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't met with him yet, but you know, just from what what I've seen, is he's a really, really good dude. I mean, he's a great linebacker too, and uh, you know, I think linebackers as head coaches is awesome, and uh, that's just another example of a guy that's like he's a football dude, and you know, I feel like you always want to play for guys like that. I do, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'd be, I'd love to, really. Anything to be on the field. I mean, that'd be, that'd be awesome. I did, yeah, yeah. Uh, just about all of them, yeah. 
Yeah, right. Gabe is like an awesome player too. I mean, he's a great, great football player. Um, him and Cody and and Arvell um, and obviously CJ too. Like those are all like really, really good football players. And he he knew the defense just as well as as I did. It, you know, as well as Coach Knowles did too. So like that's you could throw him out. You could have thrown him out here. You know, in the middle of the season, he you wouldn't. You know. You wouldn't have been. You wouldn't have noticed the difference between anyone else on the field. So, yeah. Yeah, he's a really good football player. To keep saying that, but he is. Uh, I mean, you showed it. He, he played safety. All I mean, and he's he's probably my size playing playing safety, and that's really impressive. Covering, you know, man to man on slot receivers um, is that's really impressive. So, you know, for him to play linebacker, I mean that. That's that's awesome. Uh, nothing really. I mean, I think he's ready. I think he's ready last year to do it. I think it'd be even better than last year, um, and I'm you know I'm, I'm excited for those guys. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, those last two games last year hurt. Like, they really did hurt losing. And I, I never really told anyone that. But, like, I, I felt like I couldn't couldn't leave, you know, after those last two games. And uh, you know, I wanted to right some wrongs. And, uh, you know, obviously my roommates were coming back too. So, you know, I, I just wanted to win, really. Uh. I hate answering that like that question. I got to talk about myself, but I don't know. I just I, I love the game of football, so I have not. I mean, I've I've texted him a couple times, um, but uh, I know that if I ever reached out, like he'd be there to, you know, he, he'd help me out a lot. So You're right. Yeah, I think uh, that is something that you know I saw with Pete, and uh, you know, I, I guess I never really thought about that. Is you know how, like how different teams want want like what they want you to do and, and things like that. So um, I'm definitely going to reach out to Pete about that. I do everything really. Uh, uh, yeah, there's nothing that you could you know. There's nothing about it that I don't love. You know, I love the workouts, love meeting, love practicing, love playing. So, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a uh, is is very very hard for me, and I, um, you know, it was very hard, and it's just like you, you just feel like you let a lot of people down, really, uh, and so that's something that you know I had to deal with. So. I was, yeah. It was. I mean, I, I just wanted to be out there. Um, it's. I hated sitting. Um, I hated missing games. I hated. Uh, you know, I was a captain. I didn't want to. I didn't want the guys to see me not playing, not practicing. So that was very tough. But you know, I thank Coach Day because I. I literally. I was not. I. I couldn't play. My God, it would have been bad. I think so. Yeah, I dislocated my elbow. Um, am I allowed to say that? I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. But I did, yeah. I dislocated it uh the fourth quarter versus Rutgers and then uh, so and then it was a third it was a third I should have stayed in, but it was a third down and then it went fourth down. And I didn't I thought they were gonna because it was fourth and one, so I thought they were gonna run the ball. And so like I knew my arm was something was wrong with it, so I came out, so Yeah, I didn't even think twice about him. Like I came back to play this game, so I'm, I'm playing, and uh, you know, that's how it went. I, I did, you know, it's tough, but uh, you know, I, I don't want to make any excuses or nothing. So, um, 
I just know I definitely, I definitely could have played a lot better. So. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, I mean, you just feel, I, I felt like I let down so many people, really. I mean, especially being a captain, too. Um, you know, that's the standard is winning that game. And, uh, I mean, what, that's it's, it's very hard for me. Um, but you got to keep moving forward. And I know that, hey, like, they, they got good. Like, they're good. They're a good team. Uh, but I do, I think, see, you guys. Uh, but, uh. I don't want to say anything stupid, but uh, yeah, I mean, I know from now on, like, you know, the Buckeyes, the Buckeyes would be good, so. I have, yeah, formal, yeah. It's cool, He's, I, re I really like Coach Tomlin, he's a good dude. Uh, I got to meet all those guys, so it was really cool. Um, <clears throat> he seems just like a like a football dude, you know, like to love the game of football. And uh, you know, I feel like, you know, the Steelers had a de like their defense is always well known, you know. I mean, back in the day, and I feel like that's something, you know, that they always pride themselves on. So I think uh, it was really cool talking to him. But, yeah, it'd be awesome. I mean, there'd be a lot of Big Ten guys out there, so. I have not, no. Good. I'll talk to you.